Well, well, welcome back. It appears there's a tornado in Tule County, or Tulele County in Utah, yesterday. Yeah, Grantsville, Utah area. A tornado touched down in Grantsville Wednesday shortly before 2 p.m., the National Weather Service confirmed. A land spout tornado touched down at 6, um, south-southwest near Grantsville. In an open field near uh, near Stansbury Mountains, uh, uh, near this uh, near the Stansbury Mountains, based on the preliminary data from the National Weather Service, video captured by an ABC viewer captured it. Um, okay, but yeah, to for reference, a landspout is a non-supercell tornado defined with narrow rope-like condensation funnels that form when a thunderstorm cloud is still growing with no rotating updraft. You clearly see that the funnel, that the funnel in, in the video in picture, um, spinning motion originates near the ground with these, so a vertically oriented column of air exists. Landspots are usually weak and short-lived, but can still pack winds up to 100 miles an hour, and that would be a low-end EF2. So keep that in mind. Um, this is the second one, second tornado of the year, just three weeks ago. An EF2 tornado touched down in Duchess County on Father's Day and left a path of damage of more than two miles. Um, but National Weather Service completed its damage reports days after and report clocks the estimate when peak wind speeds at 125. Um, Utah averages three tornadoes a year statewide, and last year four tornadoes were confirmed throughout the state, including in Juab, or Juab, Emory, Weber, and Davis counties. The confirmed tornadoes in 2021 in Juab, Emory, and Weber were land spouts. The tornadoes near Mona, uh, Mona, Utah, and Huntington, Utah, were captured on camera and shared on social media in early July. The Weber County tornado happened in late July 2021 and was initially classified as a dust devil and then reclassified um, and was rated in the F1 well the day of Davis one okay so let's talk about the ones that happened last year um, but yeah um, oh no 100 would still be in the F1 um, but yeah just about the damages if any damages from this one it would probably be an e it would likely be an ef0 so with that that does seem to be it for right now stay safe and speaking of which this will be the thumbnail um see you in the next video stay safe bye